Hey guys, it's me, Black Candy, and I am giving you guys my weekly weigh-in. I know I didn't weigh in um, last week. Well, I didn't make a video last week. So, I am telling you guys um, what I weighed in this morning. So, I have been working out my six days um, a week. I didn't work out on yesterday, so I only worked out five days um, last week. And um, I weighed in this morning at 144 pounds. So that's down uh, two pounds and my weight loss is now like really being uh, really, really slow and I'm not really, really focusing on a lot of weight loss, even though I do want to um, get back to 136, 37 pounds or whatever. I'm really not focusing on that. I'm enjoying my um, circuit and weight training that I'm doing. So um, and it's really, really fun. I'm liking the way that my clothes are fitting and how flat my stomach has actually uh, went down. And for some reason. I am thinking um, with the pictures that I sent one of the doctors, I might not have to have a full tummy tuck. I might need something such as a mummy makeover. Not sure what all that is and what all it entails or whatever, but I'm going to see. And um, But you guys do know that this is the year that I am removing the excess skin um, from uh, my abdomen. So I weighed in at 144 pounds, down two pounds. I'm extremely happy about that. And so I was waiting on um, this mirror that I wanted. I had been wanting this makeup mirror for like forever. And so it was $150. So I said, okay, I'm going to get that makeup mirror. That's the perfect mirror that I want. I've seen all these other mirrors, but I did not want those. And um, I seen online that the mirror had went on sale for 108 bucks. So I said, all right. I'm going to go ahead on and um, go to Perimeter Mall and just get the mirror. And um, when I got there, shit, it wasn't on sale. It was just online and I wanted the mirror, you know what I'm saying? So, anywho, I went ahead and purchased the mirror, you know, for me and the milestone and my four-year um, band anniversary, surge anniversary, or whatever you all may, might want to call it. Um... I went ahead and purchased it for myself. Okay, so here's what the mirror looks like. It's big, y'all. It's really, really big. So it's a big mirror. I mean, you can see everything. I mean, it's a huge mirror. And I just, I love, 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 love it. And it's ten times um, on one side. And it's lighter than you can um, turn the light down if you like. Or you can turn it up. You guys are seeing all my imperfections. Okay, I'm going to turn it down right there. Because it's, it's actually helping me with my lighting for me recording. Uh, I redid my hair. Um, getting my hair uh, straight for uh, Vegas. And um, uh, Alabama. And here. So, my highlights and stuff are done. You guys know I get up ahead on my hair and how I wanted to grow out or whatever in the color. So anyway, I'm getting started on all of that right now. It's like, dang, it's like two months, girl. You got to do your hair? Sure am. Okay, so anyway, let's talk about my, uh, my search anniversary. I have put a post online and hold on. Let me see if I can get to that. I have put a post online and I'm going to read it to you guys. And I stand very strong about what I said on my Facebook page. For those of you that are friends with me on Facebook, you probably read my post. And um, for those of you that are not friends of mine, I'm going to actually read the post to you. And I want some of you guys on your journey... To try to connect with what I'm what I'm saying on here. You know, you have to find your own way on your journey. I'm searching right now. You have to find your own way on your journey. And you have to do what's best for you. And don't compare yourself to nobody else. Because I'm telling you, this journey has so much twist and turns. And you have to believe in yourself. And you have to keep going. And you have to reach down inside. And you have to find something down deep inside of you to help keep you going you know so anyway this is what was on my post i received a letter from obesity help about my congratulations and i'm like you know what 
Yesterday was my surge anniversary and our band anniversary, and I totally forgot about it. So I went to mention on Facebook about my anniversary, and and I found myself not only sharing some of the things about myself, but also trying to pull you guys in and talk to you and give you some encouragement along the way to say, hey, I've been there, or are you there? Can you do this? We can do this. We have done this. You know, we're still striving and we can all win. So this is what I said on my Facebook page. And some of you guys can go back and read along with me. I said, oh snap, yesterday was my four year anniversary of my weight loss journey. Four years down, 141 pounds. I'm a testimony, an example, a hard worker, and I strive for success. I believed in me. You must believe in yourself and step out of your comfort zone on many levels. Don't be afraid of weight gain. Everybody in the entire world weight fluctuates daily. Just be determined to stay positive and work at your goals in life. Don't let this consume you. The journey becomes a lifestyle change. Not only did I reach my goal, I found me. I reconnected with myself. I love myself enough to live. I looked the way I looked before because I allowed, I allowed it. I was ill because I did nothing for my health. I was sad because I was comfortable. I was broken hearted because I didn't love myself enough to allow change. I did question for a quick second what people would say about weight loss surgery. But the next second, I said, I just don't give a damn. And I didn't. I didn't give a damn about what other people said because they didn't have to live inside of me. They didn't have to live with the depression and stuff that I had. You know, even though I'm still feeling this way, they can give a damn. They going on about their life. They still going to work. They still cooking and going out and chilling and stuff. And I'm going to worry about what the hell they got to say. The hell with them. So I said, I just don't give a damn. I need to live. Don't let what people say, do or think stop you from reaching your goals. If they can't support you or your will to live, then the hell with them. And I mean that. The hell with anybody that cannot support you on your journey and your talking friends that's supposed to be your friends. You will find out who the real people are in your life on this type of journey. If you were to come to me and you were to say, hey, I want to have weight loss surgery because I want to live. I want to be healthy. I want to see my kids grow. You know, I'm tired of being this way. Yeah. I would support you. You are doing something to save your life. I'm not going to down you and tell you, go get your ass on the treadmill. You can do it that way. No, if you need help and you need help now, do it now. If your brain is set for you to go ahead on and go and you know that you are focused and you are serious and you are for real, you do it. And I support you. 100%. Support, support, support. Surround yourself with people that support you. Not people that are going to bring you down. Not jealous friends. And not people that are going to, you know, just be there for you when you just need an ear. Because on this journey, sometimes we just need an ear. We just need to just go all in on the phone. You know, I'm tired of eating like this. And I didn't work out today. And oh, this person is acting this way. And I'm not having... We have those days. Then the very next day, girl, I worked out. I did this right here. I'm so happy with myself. I weighed my food. I'm down some ounces. We have these days. You know, we have these mood swings and you need the real friends that's going to surround you. I have had a friend with me ever since I was a small kid. And um, she's Kim. Everybody knows her. You know, Kimberly Redding. Uh, she's on Facebook and we've grown up as kids and she has been with me from day one throughout this whole entire journey. And then when she even found out about my weight loss surgery or whatever, she could give a damn. It, you know, it was nothing. Kim has stuck with me like that. And so anyway, now I said, if they can't support you and your will to live, then the hell with them. It's it's your life. Take control and dump the negative and crabby ass friends along with weakness, depression, and fat. Thousands of you know me for what I stand for, which is support, support, support. No magazine, newspaper, cameras, or celebrity status can give me the feeling of winning my life back. I went from 267 pounds to 126 pounds, from a size 24 to a size 2, from depression to confident and strong, from your gossip and your ignoring me, but not my second look, but my first will catch your eye. Yes, I said it. Fit, fabulous, and sophisticated. And yes, I did say that. Um, so I said, my beauty shines from my soul, not my looks. 
hugging myself and loving myself. Today I'm shouting about my success. I have my life back. Your work, your determination, your will to fight for you, your focus and dedication will magnify and give you the results of, of this life-changing journey. Discipline, not desire, achieves results. I am successful. I am a winner. Most of all, I am living. And I am. I'm living. I'm living with your support. I'm living with my success. I'm living with my family. And I am so thankful that I picked up this camera to do this journey and it just took off in a way that I never could have imagined. I never knew that me joining YouTube was going to just take off and I was just going to have all these people that I fell in love with. I fell in love with you guys. I fell in love with support. I fell in love with a whole nother family. I mean, people all over the world, you know, that I can say I truly love for being here for me. So, I also said on here, my name is Diana Oates, but on the web and the net, to many of you, I am Black Candy. I live it to the fullest, and I walk in six-inch heels to prove it, and I do. I went from bedroom shoes and flats to ankles hurting and not being able to stand up for about five to ten minutes to I can walk in six-inch heels, and I walk in them very well. And because of my success, my dedication, and my keep pushing forward, and every time I fell back down, I got back up, I can do that. Um, and I'm very, very proud of myself. Um, you know, sometimes it's okay to give yourself a pat back, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. And, um, at times you actually need to do that. You need to look back on your journey and see how far you have come and thank yourself for doing it, you know? So I'm going to finish reading this. Let me find my place where I was. I said, I walk in six inch heels to prove it. And for those of you that put down weight loss surgery, stop being ignorant. Yes, stop being ignorant. Why are you sitting on the couch and talking on the phone and talking to your friends about me and how I did it in my weight loss surgery? How's all that working for you? What are you doing, you know, to do something for yourself to make change in your life? Because why are you still sitting on the couch doing the same thing you were doing when I started my weight loss journey? You look the same. You're still doing the same. And you're still on that phone talking, and I've already changed. Now, I can help you. When before, you could have been off the phone and off the couch to help me. So, get educated. Now, um, some of you guys, I know that you have friends that you have been with forever. But some friends are just there to be nosy, you know? And you think that they're really friends, but they're just gossiping. They're just getting all your information and just gossiping or whatever. But hey, drop them if they're not helping you. And you're just so afraid that you can't share this with you. This is a life-changing journey. This is you. This is your life. And if you can't share this with these people, you are afraid to, scare, to share this with these people. What type of friend is that? If you cannot share this with a friend, what type of friend is that? What is that's your intuition that's telling you something is wrong. There's a disconnect there. You know, you want to connect with everybody that's on your journey. You know, so if there's a disconnect there, sometimes you have to let it go and you'll see it feel so much better with all that pressure. And some of that could be holding you back. You know, it could be holding you back. I mean, just watch for it. It's a journey. You will see different changes in people, all the people around you. I mean, be you, find you, find a real you, find happiness, and don't let so-called friends and people and what they say hold you back. So, I said get educated and get on the level, level before you engage yourself in this type of conversation. I'd love to sit down with you one-on-one. You don't have to look me in the eye, but you will stare because I am intelligent. I am smart, I have worked hard, I am healthy, I am successful, and I have a body beyond belief. And I had weight loss surgery. You're right. I had weight loss surgery. But weight loss surgery didn't give me the muscles that I have. Weight loss surgery didn't give me the brain that I have. Weight loss surgery don't put on my makeup, don't put on my earrings, don't put on my clothes and my shoes. And none of that, you know, that some of you guys... When you see these people, oh, she had weight loss surgery. Just because I had damn weight loss surgery, don't make me look fly like how I do. Me busting my ass, that's what got me there. Not weight loss surgery. Weight loss surgery is a tool, and you, it gave me my boost. 
And I started liking to see the results, so it made me want to work a little bit harder. But like I said, get educated on all this right here before you guys start talking and all that. Weight loss surgery can't give you everything. And you know, just like how I'm sitting here talking to some of you guys that's ignorant out there, weight loss surgery didn't give me this attitude I have towards y'all that don't know nothing. Weight loss surgery couldn't give me that. So, uh, also on here, I have, I do this all day every day i'm no celebrity i am an example of what weight loss surgery can do if you bust your ass it hasn't been easy but you see the results of true determination failure was never an option for me happy fourth anniversary to me and i appreciate me and the ofg for pushing through and the reason why i had to um give recognition to the ofg is because diane is with me every single day always in my head wanting me to do something you know we go back and forth back and forth but she's been with me on this ride and we did it you know we did it and i appreciate me i found me i found you guys i found me being confident me being strong i love being successful i love sharing my journey i'm sharing my journey with anybody i'm not gonna have two facebook pages i'm not gonna have no two names my name is diana oates that's my name and i am also black candy i'm all in one and diane is the ofg that's me i'm not hiding it from anybody anyone if you don't like me i don't give a damn and weight loss surgery didn't give me that but i'm giving it back to some of you guys that's ignorant about weight loss surgery and why i'm saying that is what i did not put out there about Atlanta Journal Constitution. Yes. Okay. So, I did something for Atlanta Journal Constitution, but when the young lady found out that I had weight loss surgery, she wanted to pull the story. You know, the second story. She wanted to pull the story. But, because she said, because you had weight loss surgery. What the fuck did that got to do with anything? that I had weight loss surgery. She says, well, we want to do it like, you know, a couple of years that you've had the surgery off. So I waited two years. I waited two years. So we had conversation back again. So it's just like, well, you know, it's only been two years and you had weight loss surgery. Two years keeping the weight off and you still trying to say that the reason why my weight is off is because of weight loss surgery and not me and maintenance and doing what I need to do what the hell do you know about weight loss surgery but anyway I'm gonna cut that short because I'm gonna make that another video because I did let them know that I would be calling names and I was gonna also put the email out there first and foremost what you did weight loss surgery didn't give me that that gave me a brain you were dumb enough to put all of this in an email but weight loss surgery didn't give me the brains to put your ass out there and I'm gonna do it now so happy anniversary to me and i am so thankful for you guys and all of you guys that i have in my life and you guys are just now coming on this journey i will be as honest with you as i can about this weight loss journey on everything i know whatever i can share with you in any way that i can help you i am willing and don't be shy about it if you have to hide anything from anybody that ain't the type of friend you need in your life. When you got a friend, a friend is a friend to the end. A friend is almost like a marriage. A real friend is like death do you part. They want to be there for you. That's a real friend. With that being said, I can only tell you the, how many damn friends I got on one hand. If I got to hide some for you, you really ain't my friend. You know, and I don't have too many of that. If you guys know that I can voice myself... I don't have time for the bull. I don't. And I'm only real, honest, truthful, and forthcoming with you guys. I love this weight loss community just like my own blood itself. I can tell you guys I love you and I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart meeting you guys. If I wouldn't have had you guys, I don't know what I would have done because remind you now, I never went to a support meeting. All I had was you guys and the 2009 crew logging on every week on your day saying, I did this, I did that, I did this, putting up food, exercise. 
that's what we had. That was the biggest support. And then Antonia came up with the Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America to bring everybody together. And I mean, this whole whirlwind, this whole new world is out here, you know, where you guys can actually be successful. There's no room for failure. When you make up your mind, when you make up your mind and you go on that table in surgery where you can die, if you lay your ass down there where you can die, you need to wake up with a different mind and say, you know, hey, God brought me through it. I'm going to do it. Do it. Don't just think that it's you're just going to wake up. You got some magic pill. The magic is you got your mind right that you're going to bust your ass. So. I'm going to let you guys go. I weighed in at 144 pounds. I'm down two pounds for this week. Happy surgery anniversary and band anniversary to me. And good luck to you guys on your week. Be successful. Make this a successful week. No negativity to start this week off. We're going to start this week off right. I love you guys. Bye.